Okay, so what we want to do is establish what our colors are. So I have a first, I have this swatch, and this swatch is going to help me um, just do the initial drawings before, you know, so I don't fill up the book with a million colors. So I went through my yellows, and I think this one up here is pretty close. It needs to be muted down a lot, but it's pretty close from where I'm sitting. And this is a mix of cadmium red light yellow, uh, lemon yellow and raw sienna to get that color and then I made it over here using something else that looked pretty similar although I'm not sure at this point what I used so I wrote out a few of them it helps obviously as when you when you're doing this we you actually write down what you're using because then you can go back because it's really easy to like put something down and go oh okay and next one next one they go oh, wait, what was that this one and this one are actually the same this is yellow ochre and this is yellow ochre it's just a slightly um, darker and then here we have Indian yellow, and here we have Indian yellow. This is times two, and this is times three. So depending on how much paint you use, it's going to be thicker. The color is going to be uh, more intense. Okay, so these are just the little extra pieces when I cut up the paper. Um, and we're going to do some of the reds. So we've got across here, so you guys can refer to this. This is cadmium red light. This is ruby red. Uh, permanent Camine, Rose Matter, Matter Lake Deep, Scarlet Red, and Brilliant Red Violet, which we won't be using because that's really, really purple. Um, then the bottom we've got Cobalt Green Dark, Permanent Green Olive, uh, Olive Green, Chrome Oxide Green is this one, Green Earth, May Green, Phaleo Green, Sap Green, Hooker's Green, White, which you never really use, and then brilliant blue violet is way down here, which is another really strong purple. Um, so those are the two lines on the bottom. And over here, I have a rose door, a potter's pink. Actually, rose door is here. So this is potter's pink. That one fell out, I think. No, it's over here. Look at that. Aha. There we go. Okay, um, this is a Windsor Newton. The rest are schminky. Potter's Pink, also Windsor Newton, sorry. Uh, Quinacridone Magenta, also Windsor Newton. And then, schminky Deep Red. Uh, Lizarin Crimson is this one. This is 930 Pink in uh, schminky. And then we have Indigo, Paris Blue, Cobalt Turquoise. Cerulean Blue should be there, but it's missing. Davies Gray. Sipia Brown, also missing, doesn't seem to be anywhere else either, and uh, Burnt Umber, way over here at the back. So that's coming across, and I will put, um, I'll take a photo of this and put this on, or on both of them, put this on Patreon too, on a separate post so you guys can download it if you want to follow along and take the exact colors I'm using. I don't recommend doing that, however. I think if you use the exact colors, you're gonna get a replica, and it's really, in my personal and humble opinion, um, I think that it is nicer when we all use our own colors and we make our own creations instead of trying to copy things identically. If you wanna make a purple one or a green one or a yellow one or a blue one, just go for it. So let's see this one. And it helps if I spray the so I can get it to lift. That is a nice base pink. Actually, I'm just going to go right across from here so I'll know which ones are which. Oh, this is Potter's Pink. It's not going to work at all. I think something like the Cadmium Red Light and maybe this... Mm, mm, I'm not sure, actually. What is this middle? It's like an orange. It's going to be a mix, isn't it? Like a Cadmium Yellow and a Cadmium Red. And the Quinacridome is definitely not useful for this piece. And then we have the deep red. Now the deep red with some orange 
That might work down there, but I bet the alizarin crimson will be better. Nope, look at that. This is why the swatches really help because even though I've already got them up here, um, it looks different and I can actually pick this up and bring it over and say, okay, that red, you know, is kind of similar. Let's write it in here. And now what if we mix deep red? Let's take some of that and mix it with some cadmium red light. Now, ha, to give it more of that deep red orange color. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, that's really good. Can you guys see that? Some of that color just totally does it. Okay, so before we forget, let's write that in here. while we're at it and we've got it right here I want to come over here and make a tiny swatch so that when I refer back to them later um, I can figure out what I'm looking at and But that is a good color. And now, next problem, we can see when it dries that it's going to dry pretty light. So what happens if we double it up? So I'll leave the first part as the initial, and then I'm going to double up half of it. And then when that dries, we can see how strong it is. And of course, I can keep going and just keep doubling up. So when painting this, I don't need to uh, change the colors. I could go with that color for everything that's beautiful, this beautiful red color, um, and just layer it thicker and thicker to get a darker tone. And obviously, if you add water, well, maybe not obviously. Um, and if we add water, we can lighten it just using exactly the same thing. Okay, so these three tones are exactly the same. The cadmium red light and the deep red. So let's find the orange. There's this lovely orange back here. And I think the options are going to be either, again, cadmium red light because it's a really beautiful orange. That's pretty close. And I would add the cadmium yellow when we mix these two colors, what do we get? There's our beautiful orange. Here is, I don't wanna to mix too much cause it will totally overpower. Okay, I think that's pretty good. If we're way in here, I think that is, So we do the same thing. Okay, and again, there it is as a single um, application with a little bit of water, and then again as a double application thicker with less water. So you can see how strong it is. So this one up here, the cadmium red light plus the deep plus the deep red, I would actually add that a few more times because now I'm seeing it's turning out pink and it's definitely not as red as I want it. What if we add something ooh, like the Matter Lake Deep, it's a very crimson -y color. If we add that to this. Okay, now that is much more intense, it's really pretty, but it um, it's still wet. So this is Matter Lake. And that's from Schminky number 358. So a yellow ochre for the seeds. And then something lighter. Some of these really light colors here. Let's do like Indian yellow maybe. Now we're definitely gonna need a brown. And I have picked out the raw umber, which is up here. Nope, that's Lassiana. Where umber, where are you? There you go. That would 
looks very, very similar to the Indian Yellow. It's just got a more earthy brown tone to it, but when we make it thicker, Okay, so on our greens, we're going to put this one in. So this is just that plus an arrow, so it says with more burnt umber on the bottom. And earth green for some of the light highlights. Um, I also want to do the Davies Gray and the May Green as well. Which was this one, wasn't it? So I think we have my greens down, we have our yellows down, we have our oranges, and we have our reds. Do we really need anything else? But we don't need more color, we just need to reapply. Let that dry for a quick second. And then I'll just add a third pile here on the bottom. There, so we can see the three differences depending on how much we apply. Okay, so we have our colors and we have our little sketch.